To install Gozi in Maya 2008 or 2009, all you'll need to do is send a model from ZBrush over to Maya using the Gozi button in the tool palette. But before we send anything to Maya, let's import the test model that you downloaded with this movie. We're going to set up a texture map, a normal map, and a displacement map. We'll be sending the model and all of those maps over to Maya. You'll notice that this model already has some sculpting information with subdivision levels and some poly paint information. I'll just switch the material so we can see that poly paint information a bit better. For creating a texture, normal, or displacement map, of course we'll need some UVs. This model already has some UVs set up, so we won't worry about that now. In the texture map pull-down, we can click New from Poly Paint to convert the poly paint information over to a texture map. Next we'll be setting up our displacement map, so I'll click on the displacement map pull-down here in the tool palette. And the only option I'm going to worry about for this example is that smooth UVs is checked. We then need to lower the resolution of our model to the lowest subdivision level by hitting Shift D. And once we reach the lowest subdivision level, we can click Create Displacement Map. Creating a normal map for this model is just as straightforward. I'll click on the Normal Map pull-down, and in this case I'll make sure that Tangent and Smooth UVs is checked. Then all I need to do is click Create Normal Map. In this example, I took the time to create both a normal map and a displacement map, but both aren't needed to transfer high-resolution data to other programs. You can create whichever one suits your needs best. Now with all of our maps created, all we need to do is click the Go Z button located here in the tool palette. At this point, you'll be able to choose from a list of Go Z enabled applications that are installed on your system. In this case, of course, we'll choose Maya. This will automatically launch the Maya application and send your model and all the maps we created over with it. Seeing this is the first time that we're using GoZ to send a model from ZBrush over to Maya, we'll be presented with a dialog box letting us know that a new Go ZBrush shelf has been installed in our shelf tabs. You'll also notice the Go Z button in that shelf. This button will let us send models from Maya back to ZBrush. At this point, I'll select our test sphere, hit the number 5 to shade it, and number 6 to show the texture map. Next, I'll be making a small change to the render settings here inside Maya. I'll click on the Render Globals button, and that'll open up our render settings. I'm going to be switching over to Mental Ray for this example. And I'm going to be switching the Mental Ray quality over to Production. Now that I've made those changes, I'll close down my render settings and then render the current frame. You can see our displacement map, our texture map, and our normal map are all applied to the model. If you'd like to see your normal map on the model directly here in the perspective view, there's a few options we can change in our panel menu. First, we'll go under Render. You're going to want to make sure that high quality rendering is checked. Next, we'll move over to Shading, and you'll want to make sure that hardware texturing is checked. With both these options checked off, you'll be able to see the normal map directly on the model as you can see here. At this point you have successfully set up your GoZ pipeline between ZBrush and Maya. At any point you can select your model and simply press the GoZ button to send it back to ZBrush.